coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Steven Thompson and Anthony Showtime Pettis. So here's the resurgent former UFC lightweight champion, former Wheaties box cover boy, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Many of you remember that fateful night when he won the UFC lightweight title with a first round submission of Benson Henderson, and he did it right there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The longtime Rufus Sport product, Anthony Showtime Pettis, Joe, back for more tonight. Anthony Pettis is a very well-rounded fighter. For his stand-up, he trains at a Duke Rufus, and he is a very creative and unorthodox game as a striker. He's got a very solid ground game as well, good wrestling, and a sick triangle choke. Seven and zero oh as a kickboxer with more than 40 knockouts, seven wins by knockout now in mixed martial arts. Here is the two-time UFC welterweight title challenger Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, and on his best night, this could very well be the best 170-pound fighter in the UFC. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Pettis is 31, Thompson is 34. He is two inches taller, he will have a three inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's the first fighting out of the new corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, will be a professional record now. 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis! And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Simpsonville, South Carolina. Steve Lennox, Wonder Boy Thompson! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, we'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to I am court. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go ready? down right ready? now. Fight. All right, ready to go with live action here from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Well, his South Carolina fan base travels well. Here is the two-time UFC welterweight title challenger and Kempo Karate practitioner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, his father Ray right behind him. How does he approach this one here tonight, Joe? Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? One thing to keep an eye out for is the counter strikes of Anthony Pettis. He's very good at catching fighters as they try to attack. Straight right, he misses. Nice combination of kicks there by Pettis. Lands a oh. hard hook to the head. Wow. He's got him hurt here. Oh, that head kick landed. Oh, he might be out. Thompson. 
Jackson's kick attempt. That one was blocked. Nice. Lands a good combination. with that right hand. Oh, big kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Midway through round one. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Just misses there with the left. That one hurt. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Just out of range with that right hook. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Going to the body there with the right kick. Effective punch there by Wonderboy Thompson. Oh, spinning back fist, he solved it right there. Very nice. Pettis landing some vicious body shots. That is absolutely right, Joe Rogan. Oh, head kick attempt, that one's clean. Just misses with the jab. Nice kick there by Thompson. 90 seconds to go. That one appeared to stun him. He's definitely oh, he's the egg. No! Nice leg kick. Oh, straight right. Body kick, look at that. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! He is rocked! Big shots! He's got a beautiful leg kick. Oh! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. He hurt him with that hook. Kick to the body by Thompson. Good right hook. Inside leg kick lands. Nice knee to the body. All right, here, final seconds of round one. That's again the experience. The Can't horn stop. sounds for the end of round one. Well, there is the horn and maybe even a 10-8 there courtesy of the two knockdowns. Big round from Pettis. Two big, significant knockdowns. Two big moments in that round. Definitely won it for him. Excellent strike here. Lands on target. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Second round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. 
Anthony Pettis is perhaps one of the best strikers to ever fight in the UFC. His world-class kicking and punching technique, as well as his dynamic and unpredictable creative attacks like the Showtime kick, make him a fighter to be feared. How about that shin? That's You're a hard hook. Oh! oh, very nice. He's got him hurt here. Nice defense there. Huge block. That punch will work right through the door. Oh, oh good big left, left hand. hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. This is, I don't like this style of fighting. I don't like it. I don't like when a guy holds a guy down. However, it is effective. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. That one hurt. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Well, Pettis' cut is only getting worse here, Joe. Man, is that thing bleeding. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And an inside leg kick. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Pettis gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, to the face! He's rocked! Body kick, look at that! Quick jab. Oh, both men exchange. Misses with that punch. Too. Hard straight punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Beautiful right leg kick there. Well, Pettis' kick to the body, that one blocked. He's fainting with that kick. Nice inside leg kick. Under a minute now to go. Thompson's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. 30 seconds to go in round two. Ooh! Watch the shot here, Joe. Nice left hand. Wonder Boy gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Wonderboy Thompson. Big knockdown. Very important, significant damage. Probably won the round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's see if we get a better look at that from this angle. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Massive knees to the body, Joe. How about that shin? Nice inside leg kick. Push kick there to the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Pettis gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Looking for the left hook. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh, useful, well-placed kick there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. That one hurt. Caught that one on the forearm. Oh, nice strike landed there by Thompson. Back and forth we go! Well, Pettis' lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Thompson's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Tags him with the left. Just misses with the straight left. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landed four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Wonderboy Thompson. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Straight right hand now, just misses. Caught him with a punch. Well, you talk about smelling blood in the water. He lands another punch right on that cut in and around his opponent's eye. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Thompson's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Pettis gets hit with that hook. That one had some sting too, Joe. Oh, effective strike there by Thompson. Joe, nice. Oh, tackled! Big body shot! He's got him right here. He's in trouble. Oh! The cut on his cheek is getting nasty. The 
lock to catch. Oh, he will count for it. He's now got double underhooks in the clinch. Thompson's able to get the underhook here. Back to the hook now, Joe. It's good. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Hook in the clinch there by Thompson. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. These guys are swinging. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. The round is over, the swelling on the fighter's eye is only getting worse. And at some point, I'm not even sure if the end swell is going to do anything. I mean, you have got to really think about fighter safety at this point in time. The eye is not shut, it is certainly moving in that direction. And here's a powerful shot that almost ends this fight. And let's get a better look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste in the building. You ready? You ready? Fight. Fourth round. Fight school for five. Oh. He's badly, badly hurt. Big straight punch. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take. Oh! He's hurt! He's gotta be careful here. He's in trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. How about that shin? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, another one! He's in big, big, big trouble. Oh, nice knee! Good defense there. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Straight right hand, no good. Kick to the body by Thompson. Very nice kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Body kick now by Thompson. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Pettis gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh! 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 He's out cold. That is it. He landed a big front kick to the head for the KO victory. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Let's look at that from a different angle. Look at this. Boom! And then he's out. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest. At two minutes seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Showtime!
Well, Anthony Showtime Pettis has a highlight reel that competes with anyone in the game, but he continues to get better with age. What a performance tonight from the former UFC lightweight champion. Duke Rufus has worked wonders with this kid, and he might very well become a two-time UFC champion before his career is said and done.